Buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday. I hope you're having an awesome start to your week. What I wanted to do today was I wanted to talk about a company that in the last seven years has outperformed other big companies such as Amazon, Facebook, Google, and Apple. Who is this company? I think you'd be surprised to know. So I'll let it out of the bag. The company is Domino's Pizza. But what I find really interesting was what happened about seven years ago that prompted this growth where, according to this article I read yesterday, their stock has gone from $9 to $180 a share in that seven year period. So what did Domino's Pizza do and how can we apply what they did to us to help us improve our performance because obviously we can agree that whatever they did led to a pretty huge increase of performance. Here's what they did and it was really, really simple. They asked other people, mainly the people that were consuming their product, what they thought about their product. And they were ready and willing to take on whatever came through as an answer from their customers. And there's a YouTube video that kind of chronicles through this that I'm gonna post on my Facebook page, Utmost Performance, that basically goes through and shows you the process of how they did this. And obviously it didn't show you every minute, but it gives you a really good idea. And you've got, you know, the CEOs of the company and the higher ups sitting in meeting rooms and boardrooms listening to video of the customers rating their product. And they're saying things like, you know, this doesn't even taste like real cheese on your pizza. Your crust tastes like cardboard and just, I mean, quite frankly, pretty hurtful things. And then they go into the kitchens and they're interviewing the chefs, the guys that are actually like making the guys and gals making the pizzas. And they're like, how do you feel about this? And they're like, man, this is like really shocking. You know, like it hurts. Like we're putting out this product and this is how people really feel about it. And they're just gathering all this information and they're going on social media and people are tweeting about their product and how bad it is. And the owner of the company comes forth and basically says, in light of all that that has been submitted to us, we have a choice. We have a choice to either look at all of this information and basically feel bad about ourselves and just sulk in it, or we can use this information, we can actually begin to better our products so that we can actually make our customers happy and give them something that they want. And that's exactly what they did. And you know, the video goes on to say that basically from the ground up, Domino's Pizza scrapped everything. And literally from the crust, to the sauce, to the cheese, to the packaging, to everything. They just completely revamped the way that they made their product, the way that their product tasted. And they took it as a great, just like a challenge that they were all excited about. They talk about the chefs beginning to put in like even more time in the kitchen, just like trying to figure out how they can best reach their customers. And they really, really got excited and invested in the process. And like seven years later, here's what we got. We've got Domino's Pizza like as a, a very viable, obviously pizza company and a company that seems to be doing really well. So how do we apply this to where we are personally in our lives? It's actually pretty simple in theory, but it's hard to apply. And it's this, when you look at yourself in the mirror or when other people look at you, like what is it that they see? Are you allowing people to have tough conversations with you? Are you allowing yourself to be exposed to the point where people are able to speak into your life and they're able to tell you some things that maybe aren't the best qualities and features about you, but that you can take on and that you can begin to work on and improve to make you better in whatever area it is that you're looking to improve as you watch this content. Again, easy to do, but yeah, it's a hard pill to swallow sometimes. And the biggest part about this is just making sure that the picture is as accurate as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, we tend to have a really, really hard time, especially in today's culture, with um, not allowing people to be as truthful with each other as they should be because we don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, because we don't want to make somebody feel bad about themselves, because we're all equal and we're all just as good at something. Let me tell you something. In a competition, somebody gets first and somebody gets, first and somebody gets 20th and somebody gets last. That doesn't seem equal to me. But again, are you going to be willing to take on this kind of, and it's constructive criticism. It's constructive. 
Why is it constructive? Construction, like building a house, it means you use it to build something, to build a better self. Are you willing to do that? If you are, you can be like a Domino's pizza and go from not being very successful and having a pizza that nobody wants to all of a sudden like seeing an increase in revenue, which is a direct correlation to the fact that people are happy with your product. We can also do that. So what is it? Where is it that you're looking to improve? And are you actually taking a good hard look at yourself to actually get better? Which means in order to do that, you've got to be able to confront the fact that there are some things you need to work on. And what are they? And are you willing to work on them? So I hope that this has helped you out. It's a, it's a tough subject, but again, it's one that needs to be said. And obviously in the news, we've got an example of what it can do for us. So hopefully you take this and you begin to work on those weak areas and allow people to speak into your life and be critical of you, knowing that uh, they're looking out for your best interests. I think that's important. So taking constructive criticism from just anybody, I don't think is wise. Uh, you need to have your inner circle, right? You need to have your people that you trust and your people that you know are always looking out for your best interest and actually truly genuinely care about you and take the criticism from those folks. So anyhow, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon.